It's another lovely sunny day and yesterday I was out in the sun way too much. I'm a little bit red, a little bit burnt, a bit fine. My body will sort that out pretty quickly. Just allow it to heal itself in the natural way. So, I wanted to give you an update on my diet. So, some of you may already know, because I talked about this in another video not that long ago, but I am now on a 100% fruit diet, which to a lot of people that's going to sound quite crazy and extreme. But this isn't something that is new to me, because I've become aware of this diet back in 2014 and I ate not 100% fruit diet but I was also eating a lot of green leafy vegetables such as lettuce for around two years and at one point I did only fruit for three months whilst in Thailand which I've lived in for the last four plus years now and Thailand has some of the most amazing fruit especially when it is the fruit season which currently it is the peak of the fruit season so yeah the reason why I'm on this diet my body naturally wanted me to do it it just felt drawn to it I was semi do it I thought I'd never go back to 100% fruit diet whatsoever due to a variety of different reasons and and I'm someone that listens more to my body than my head and a lot of people are not very in tune with their body and it's good that I listened because it's been making me feel way 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 better than what I was doing before which is having around 50% raw foods and 50% cooked foods I have the raw foods in the middle of the day to break my daily intermittent fast and then the cooked foods at the end and as loads of you know I was just going on a restaurant binge for around two years and eating so much junk food as well a lot of whole foods to balance it out a bit but definitely not the cleanest diet possible so I can understand why my body wanted to go in this direction and obviously this diet is very high in water content very high in fiber so it's very good for allowing the body to be able to naturally detoxify itself very effectively and I don't have a time length of how long I'm just going to do it as long as I feel good and my body wants to do it because when I did this diet before a long time ago I just got programmed with a lot of ideologies and dogmatic views and I forced myself to stay on it longer than was necessary and it started to really have some serious negative consequences on me due to a variety of different reasons that I'm aware of from that past experience to it not happen again whilst I'm on this fruit based diet and what I have in the back of my mind is I think I'm probably not doing it in until it's not the peak of the fruit season because do it when it's not the peak of the fruit season the quality of the fruit's not so good the nutrient density is not so good and it's just not going to make you feel the best and it's not going to be as easily sustainable so for anyone wondering how long i've been doing this for i use an app called day count i highly recommend that you do this if you want to track streaks of things that you're doing certain habits you're wanting to form certain ones you're wanting to change certain addictions you're overcoming stuff this is really good so as you can see there the fruitarian diet says 17 days well i did actually start 21 days ago but four days in i was craving some some cooked food so I went and had some like really clean oil free low salt organically grown foods made into Thai foods and I'm telling you I felt my energy levels drop it's like someone put a brick in my stomach it was just not good so after that experience I was like nah I'm not doing that again at least for right now so it's good that I had that experience to gain those insights that just cooked food wasn't and still isn't right for me at this current moment so if you're interested in the app yeah definitely get it it's called day count and something that is really 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 interesting I'm gonna share some of the benefits I've been getting and I'm actually gonna do a 30 day video that will show my body before and my weight before and after as well so you can see if I've lost muscle and actually got weaker and fragile and frail like I used to be or not because a lot of people think that you can't get enough protein you can't get enough calories and so forth but you will see in that video but yeah my weight has been steadily going up which is really really interesting and i haven't been taking creatine during this whole fruit based diet but i will start taking it again very very soon i just not against it i just kept forgetting about it that's a really interesting benefit and i know why if you don't know i've made many videos on this and if you aren't already follow me on instagram you can see what i eat pretty much every single day through my instagram stories there'll be a link for that down below is that i'm eating so much durian durian is like one of the highest calorie fruits in the world and i'm eating kilos and kilos and kilos of this stuff so i'm actually getting way 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 more calories than I was when I was having a diet of 50% cooked food and 50% of raw food which this wasn't a benefit that I was looking to gain from this I'm just doing it because my body wants me to eat this way but I'm really happy about that because I do want to gain weight so literally it is the perfect bulking food and diet for me to be on and the reason why I'm also getting a lot more calories is with the other diets doing four I normally have two meals but with the durian I find that I can eat it three times a day so I'm still doing 16 hours of fasting around an eight hour window of of eating but because it's very high in water content very high in fiber it digests really really quickly and it doesn't use nowhere near as much energy for my body to actually 
assimilate and digest the food but unlike with cooked food I can find that can make my energy levels go down that's why I'd normally only eat it at the end of the day so this is a win-win situation because the more often I can eat the more calories I can eat the more muscle that I'm gonna gain and I want to optimize muscle growth as much as possible and what I say is because I have so much experience and knowledge with this diet and because I made mistakes in the past of it I know how to get it to work the best for me better than I ever had done in the past when I done it over that two year period so something that i'm doing is making sure that i'm still taking my thorn research elite am and pm multi-nutrient supplement getting a little bit lost here let's go this way and basically that makes sure that i'm getting every single mineral and vitamin that i need that there may be lacking on this diet which i was doing on my diet previously to this so just being very very mindful and if i start to notice any signs and symptoms that i mean maybe lacking in certain nutrients then i make some modifications to the diet maybe add some other supplements in but for now there seems to be more than adequate enough for me to get every single thing that I need and because I am eating a lot of calories I'm getting a decent amount of protein I did a video not that long ago where I think I got around 80 grams of protein in a day on a fruit based diet so the thing with this is you need to be able to eat a lot of food within one sitting and because there's a lot of water content it's not going to be as high calorie as cooked food which someone that hasn't got a large eating capacity and hasn't got optimal digestion because I digest things really really effectively and efficiently and rapidly then it wouldn't necessarily work for you so yeah I'm not gonna go into any more details on what is going on but I'm telling you mentally and physically I'm feeling way better than what I was doing before so make sure you stay tuned for the 30 day video that's gonna come up in about 10 days time from now and yeah I'm enjoying it I'm liking it it's all going good so like I said I continue to do it whilst I'm feeling good and it'd be excited to see what other benefits I get over a longer period of time of doing this and yes it's the perfect time to be doing it now because it's like the peak season of all the fruits like there's just so much abundance of my favorite fruits and they are my favorite foods in the world as well so why would i want to eat anything else when they make me feel the best and like they're the most enjoyable foods to me to eat in an abundance and man this place look at this I keep coming to Rice every day to walk, do hikes, sometimes run up the waterfall, literally run up the waterfall because it's so dry here at the moment. There's pretty much no water going through the waterfall and it's just so calm and serene. It just gets me out of the house, away from the laptop and I always come and do something creative as well whilst getting a little bit of cardio in at the same time. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to make any specific videos about this diet, I'd like to know more information. Let me know down below in the comments section or either ask your question or make a specific video dedicated to answering the question that you've left down below. And if you like the video as always, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and whoa, look at this on the ground. They've got like one of those centipedes, these huge ants. They are really, really big ants. Some of the biggest ants ever, look. Look at them carrying it along, they're all in that line, all working together. Man, ants are so, so strong. Humans were a strong equivalent to these ants. Man, you'd be able to lift houses and planes and all sorts. <laughs> Sorry about the distraction, but I thought I'd show you that. And yeah, please share this video with anyone else that you think would like to watch this video and listen to what I shared with you in regards to me in a 100% fruit diet at the moment. And make sure to click that subscribe button down below if you want to receive a lot more videos from me talking about my own diet, what I'm getting up to in my life, weight loss videos, calisthenics videos, videos on weight loss, intermittent fasting, and various other videos that could help you go in direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels that I've managed to, and many other people that followed my information consistently over time. So if they sound good to you and you'd like to be notified when they're uploaded, make sure that you don't just click the subscribe button. You also, once you've done that, click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when the videos are uploaded. I'm telling you, a lot of people that subscribe through that next are looked at. Don't click that bell notification button, a very small percentage. And then people wonder why they don't get the notifications. So that could be why. And if you're already a current subscriber and you're not being notified by YouTube of when my new videos are uploaded, that could be the reason why. So just get back on that subscribe button and click the bell notification button. So as always, Stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.